Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 37 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about sources of magnetic field. There we can see we have this wire in this shape, right? And the first one when we find the magnetic field is in the center C. So we can see the current just flows clockwise. And this is a straight line, and this straight line goes through the center C. So they will not produce the magnetic field on point C, right? And we look at the half part of R1, right? So now, how does the half of a circle produce the magnetic field at the C? We consider Bill Savart law. So the upper part for magnetic field, then we can use the Bill-Savart law. We can say the radius is R1, so R1 squared. And then we integral from, for this deal, this is a small fraction of the arc from 0 to pi R1, right? Because half of the length found at there is a pi R1. And then we organize it, get the answer there. The second part, we look at the bottom part, so we can say this is a, a arc, half of the circle, with radius R2. So still we consider the bill savard law, the radius is R2, and we can say it integral this way, right? From the pi R2 to 0, agree? Because this one, this way, and then this way, so this there is a pi R2 to 0, and then we get answer there. Now, as we can see, magnetic field is a vector, so we add these two vectors together, we get answer there. The next one is to find the magnetic dipole moment of this uh, circuit. As we can see, magnetic dipole moment is the I current times the cross-sectional areas, right? So this one, we can get it as pi R1 squared divided by 2, pi R2 squared divided by 2, and then direction is negative T. So finally, we get answer there. Thank you.